Hello again. Um, we are going to look at barcodes today. We are using Follett's Destiny Library System, and we're going to look at how to set up vendor barcode ranges, as well as running a report of unused barcodes and within a range that you could use if you were hand cataloging books and adding those barcodes in. Um, so the first thing that we're going to do is look at that report of unused barcodes um, within a barcode range that you might want to use if you were hand cataloging books and adding them to your system. So we're going to start with reports, um, go down to library reports, and we're going to do this first list, barcode lists. Um, we're going to do unused barcode numbers, and we're going to do this within a range. Um, we have 800, 1000 to 800, 2000, and I want to see all the barcodes just to see what we have available. We're going to run this report. Uh, let's refresh this list and we're going to view the report. So as you can see that this is a list of unused barcodes um, within the range uh, that I listed here. These can be used if you're hand cataloging books and you can use these as your numbers, barcode numbers to add to your system. Okay, so now the next step is we're going to set a vendor barcode range. Um, setting up vendor barcode ranges allows library managers to block out a range of numbers so that if you're adding those books manually, you won't use a barcode set aside for a vendor. Um, there have been instances where um, if you were barcoding um, books manually, you use the next number, but you don't realize that that has been sent to a company to use as a set of barcode ranges. Um, you can get into trouble if the books come back from the company and now you have books that have the same barcode. So we want to avoid that. So we want to block off these numbers so that they're not used um, in your system when you're hand cataloging the books and adding them manually to your system. So this is actually a two-step process. So the first step is to find that um, range of barcodes that we're going to use. So we're going to go to reports, again, library reports, and barcode lists. We want unused barcode numbers, but this time we are going to look at um, a large range of barcodes. I typically like to do a thousand or as close to a thousand as I can. Um, the highest number you can use is 999 and the starting barcode is going to be um, 801-3406 and I want consecutive barcodes as a range because we're going to send this to a company and say, hey, you can use these numbers um, and it works that way. Um, we're going to run this report, refresh the, refresh the list. Click view, and we see that we can do um, 801-5405 to 801-6402. Um, so let's go back to our um, Destiny system. And the next step is to go to back office, site configuration, site administration, and then we're going to edit the library vendors. Um, so let's say if we got a large shipment from bound to state bound, we can set up, set the number barcode. We want to start at 801-5405. And the number barcode is going to be 999. And click save. And now you can see that um, we have the barcodes within that range. That way, in the system, you will not um, use these barcodes. They are have been blocked off and set aside for that vendor. So the last step that you need to do for setting barcode uh, vendor barcode ranges is to actually contact the vendor and let them know what your barcode range is. Um, the system does not talk to them, so you have to call them and say, hey, um, your range it starts here and goes to um, this number. Um, so there you have it. Um, it's pretty simple, and good luck barcoding.